Welcome. Science, technology, engineering and math are critical skills going forward into the future. And this is why I created this channel, to help parents pick the right science kit so that their kids can have a lot of fun while learning science, because science is fun. But these videos equally apply to those of you without children who just love to play with science kits. So let's delve into the subject of this video. In this video, we're looking at this 52 piece microscope set. It's from IQ Crew and it's designed for ages eight plus. Let's take a look at what's inside. There's an instruction book, which we'll come back to later. It comes in this hard shell case, which on the face of it is a great carrying case. But on the other side, they elected to to a display window of the components, which you can understand for marketing reasons, but it does prevent this making an actual practical case. You can carry it around like this, but it doesn't look quite as cool in my opinion. Let's take a look at the components individually. The microscope itself. It's a little smaller than I thought. I'm not entirely sure what it's made of. I don't think it's metal. I think it's a hard plastic, but it's pretty, it's pretty solid, pretty durable. I don't think this is going to break. So microscope. Tweezers. A box of plastic slides. These are actually pre-prepared with samples on there. I see an apple, an onion, broad beans. So that's very interesting. They actually give you some samples to look at. Yeah, five prepared slides and seven blank slides. Cover slips. Slide labels, a little scalpel, it's not at all sharp, I'm not entirely sure what this is, a mixer maybe. There's a probe tool with a protective sheath, which is a good idea. Mixing cylinder. Two 
batteries to power the light in the microscope. It's always good to see when they include batteries. This is 20X. I think it might be a magnifying eyepiece. Petri dish. Entirely sure what this is. <laughs> Two of these. This is a brine shrimp hatchery. Very interesting. And then finally, we have some ingredients. Sea salt. Gum media. Eosin dye. and brine shrimp eggs for the hatchery. So those are all the components that are in the set. The manual is short but informative. It starts off with some safety information. Then it explains the various parts of the microscope which is useful because I'm sure most kids have not been exposed to a microscope before. Gives you instructions about how to set it up, about magnification, adjusting the focus. And then it walks you through slides, how to put things on slides, how to run the brine shrimp hatchery, which does sound intriguing. Explains to you how to make your own slides. And at the back is almost like a couple of pages from a journal where you can note down the, the observations you're making and sketch what you're seeing under the microscope. I'm sure you could photocopy these and, and make a microscope journal. So there's two ways you can provide light to the microscope. First is the classic reflecting lens. Aim this at a light source and then it will reflect it up onto the slide above. The second way is to rotate this whole assembly and you have an actual light source which is powered by the batteries. To replace the batteries, you need to unscrew the bottom with a Phillips screwdriver. And then you slot the batteries into the holder at the base. With the batteries now in the base of the microscope, if you rotate the light mirror, then the light automatically turns on, if you see that. and then it can shine up through the hole in the stage. You can also see that this slider on the front of the stage alters a color filter, which you can probably just see there in the stage. There's a green and a blue. And then, of course, the dial on the front here is the magnification, which multiplies the magnification of the eyepiece. This is six times. So 
So I tried out some of the fixed slides. This is an onion bulb. This is a cotton stem at 300 magnification. And again at 600. Here's a goldfish scale, a broad bean leaf, and finally an onion bulb. Here's a bundle of fibers from my sweater. Here are a few strands of cat fur, and here's some dirt from a flower pot. Let's take a look at the brine shrimp experiment. For this, we're going to need the microscope, obviously, uh, a cup of water, a teaspoon, a pipette, which notice does not come with this kit, the shrimp hatchery, which is this little blue case here, uh, a pot of brine shrimp eggs, and the pot of sea salt. And this is what the dry eggs look like. And now we're going to make a brine solution. We're going to take the sea salt, half a teaspoon or so, and mix it in about a cup of water. Stir that up. So now we have a nice brine solution. And into that we're going to put some of the brine shrimp eggs. And now we're going to leave the shrimp in the brine solution to hatch for about 24 to 48 hours. So now we have some live brine shrimp. They're very hard to photograph through the microscope because of the very small field of view. And you can see a lot of them swimming around in there. And finally, I managed to get a shot of them in the microscope. They look great. They don't stay in the viewfinder for very long, but you can clearly see them swimming about. Now we're going to do the final step. We're going to open up the shrimp hatchery. And we're going to deposit some of the shrimp with the brine solution into these trays. We're going to get three samples. Now we're going to add yeast to two of the compartments and leave the center one as a control. And the yeast is going to give them something to eat as they develop from the larvae that we saw swimming around into the mature shrimp. And we'll come back tomorrow and take a look. After 24 hours, I put a drop of the yeast solution onto a slide to look for the adult. I could see them under the microscope, but they were swimming about far too fast to capture with the camera. So if you enjoy these science kit reviews, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can continue to be notified when I produce the next video. So this kit is aged eight plus and it's around about $40 to buy. Packaging, I give a solid four and a half. The components are carefully packed and the hard plastic carrying case makes it easy to take the microscope over to a friend's house or into the garden or another room. Components, I also give a solid four and a half. It's a great idea that they gave some sample specimens on slides so you can immediately look at something under the microscope, but a greater variety would have been nice. 
adding a pipette and yeast would have made the kit complete. The microscope is solid for the price point and the target age group, but obviously the optics are nowhere near lab quality. But it does the job. Instructions 3. Very brief instructions, but clearly written. Experiments, I give a three and a half. Would have been nice to see some ideas other than brine shrimp and the pre-made slides, such as lessons in viewing bacteria or bugs. Science, I give a four. The instructions have good explanation of the components of the microscope and how to lay out specimens on the slide. There could have been more explanation of biology, but then, to be fair, they couldn't possibly cater to all the items that kids are likely to put under the microscope. Fun, a good solid five. Kids are going to love scouring the house and the garden looking for specimens, anything they can find to put on a slide and look at. There's going to be a lot of excitement seeing things real and move under the microscope. It's just another whole perspective on the world. Overall, I give this kit a solid four. Thanks for watching the video until the end. Be sure to come back and watch the next Science Kit review. Take care and have fun with your experiments.